Get ready and prepare to feel really, really good. And if you want, you can focus up high for a moment on the ceiling or somewhere in the room you're in at something beautiful. And let's together, as you focus on that spot, take a long, slow, deep breath in and exhale. Again, with your eyes wide open, inhale and exhale. Feel your eyes becoming droopy, drowsy, and heavy as you inhale. And now, if you so choose, you may allow your eyes to close as you exhale. And you may allow the closing of your eyes to help you to relax, relax, relax. Now, whether your eyes are open or closed is a personal choice throughout the rest of this session. I want you to do what suits you. This is your time for deep, pleasurable relaxation. And now let's again breathe relaxation through our bodies together, inhaling and feel yourself exhaling away any tension or stress. Again, inhaling relaxation and exhaling away any worries or concerns you've been carrying around. Imagining now that your body is like a big balloon filling up with warm, soothing air as you inhale. And now feel yourself like a balloon deflating as you exhale. Very good. And now it may begin to seem as you continue to breathe in and out like the air is breathing for you. And you may notice that as the air breathes for you, that it breathes slowly and deeply all the way down, down, down through your relaxed arms and legs, fingers and toes, almost like that air you're breathing is entering your body like a glowing golden cloud, filling you with peaceful, relaxation relaxation and now you can imagine yourself walking on a safe path a peaceful trail a safe secret place inside yourself that only you're aware of and as you continue to breathe and relax you continue to now feel yourself becoming increasingly relaxed and you can envision yourself in a very safe peaceful place perhaps a real place or an imaginary place. But in that place, you can feel safe and comfortable and peaceful. And you can begin the process of trusting yourself, of trusting yourself to make the right decisions, to think clearly and act in line with your own highest good and the good of the world around you. And as you enjoy relaxing in this safe, peaceful place. You can imagine now that a warm, glowing feeling of love is wrapping itself around your head and around your body. And you can feel a stream of soothing relaxation now moving through the crown of your head, relaxing your forehead and your eyes, and feel your eyes and your nose and your face relaxing, relaxing and your jaw and your mouth and your lips relaxing, relaxing and feel that golden glowing healing energy from the universe now moving down through your entire head, down the back of your head into your throat and feel your collarbones and your shoulders now receiving this wonderful golden glow, this healing energy now rolling down your collarbones down your arms, cascading into your elbows, flowing into your forearms, perfectly temperatured, soothing, healing energy, loving energy, making its way from the crown of your head, through your face, into and out from your mouth, down your throat, and now all the way out through your fingers and fingertips. Feel it pouring now into your heart and your chest and your lungs all relaxing relaxing 
warm, soothing, glowing energy, and perhaps color and light now filling you inside with love and peacefulness and reminding you of how special you are, how deserving you are, how worthy you are of the dietary changes that you are considering because they will be good for you. They will be healthy. You will feel more alive, more peaceful, and you will be more spiritually connected. And now you know through plant-based eating, you are healing the planet and you are healing yourself if and when and where you are ready to love yourself completely enough, to be compassionate enough to yourself and the world around you and the animals to adopt this healthy, delicious, vitally alive, plant-based diet. Feel the warm, soothing relaxation, the healing glow now traveling through your internal organs, moving into and out of the base of your spine, and also flowing through your reproductive region, and all your internal organs relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. And as you feel this relaxation, you can now get in touch with the chemicals and hormones in your body. And you can ask your higher mind, your inner physician, to ideally balance the chemicals and hormones in your body and mind so that you will feel really, really good, comfortable, peaceful, and safe as you embark upon this and all your other happy, healthy, productive life changes, continuing to breathe and to relax, to breathe and to relax. If you so choose, you may imagine that you're being surrounded by spirit, by the love of the universe, by ancestors who are there in support of you being the happiest, healthiest, most spiritually connected person that you can be, the kindest, the most compassionate, and feel the love of spirit wrapping its arms around you and as you drift and float and go deeper into relaxation you can imagine yourself outside in nature and as you go outside in nature and take a walk in this splendid place spirit is with you spirit is inside you spirit is all around you and the love of the universe is all around you thanking you thanking you for this consideration thanking you for deciding to be your best and your most compassionate. And as you see yourself walking through this splendid place in your mind, you can now feel your hips and your thighs relaxing, 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 and a warm red kundalini energy perhaps moving into and out from the base of your spine, taking you deeper and deeper into perfect, peaceful relaxation and that relaxation is now traveling down your legs first through your thighs and feel your thighs relaxing your knees relaxing your shins and your ankles relaxing and you can allow a sense of joy now to beat inside your heart and to glow inside you as that healing and rejuvenating energy now travels down down into your feet and travels outwardly through your toes your whole body so relaxed you're so connected to the love and light of spirit it's feeling so happy so peaceful and as you continue to walk into this safe secret place if you so choose you may imagine a hammock or a swing or maybe a, a waterfall that you can step inside Whatever you choose to do at this time is up to you. This is your session, but let it bring you peace and let it bring you comfort. And with whatever imagery you are using in your mind, get in touch with your eyes. Get in touch with your eyes and know that from this moment forward, you will see the truth. Your eyes will see and recognize the truth. Your eyes will see and know what is good for you, whether it's food or relationships, you will see clearly and you will know the truth. 
continuing to breathe and relax as the love of spirit continues to wrap its arms around you and to move inside you you can now get in touch with your ears it will now be easy for you to hear the truth to hear the truth in all things to hear your own choices and to decide to honor your choices even when others around you do not understand them even when they are different than your spouse or your family or the people you work with or even the people at your church you can hear your own choice and you can know your rationale for making your righteous spiritually congruent choices and you can hear yourself whenever necessary saying no thank you to animal products of all kinds no thank you to any substance that weighs you down or harms you or harms the universe or harms your children no thank you you can hear yourself saying it and you can hear yourself saying it lovingly kindly and you can hear yourself congratulating yourself each time you speak the words no thank you and each time you place an order for your own good health through your food choices through your exercise through your drinking of water breathing and relaxing as you now focus on your lips and your tongue and your mouth and feel your lips your tongue and your teeth and your mouth relaxing relaxing and i'd like you to call into your mind the best apple you've ever eaten in your life perhaps you were out in nature and you reached up and you picked an apple from a tree and you bit into that apple and it was so amazing and its juice just shot through your mouth so deliciously so healingly so refreshingly and as your mouth continues to enjoy enjoy the sensory flavors let's also consider the first time you went to pick strawberries and if you were like me as a child or a young adult just as many strawberries wound up in my mouth as in that basket that I was paying for because the flavor was so delicious because I couldn't wait to have the next one because it tasted so good the fruit of my labor picking the strawberries eating the strawberries or maybe for you it was a beautiful blueberry patch a patch of blueberries outside your home or a blueberry garden or a blueberry orchard and you had all these beautiful blueberries some big some small depending on where they were grown but all delicious and you knew you wanted to get as many as you could because they were so delicious and there were so many ways to use those blueberries and strawberries and apples that you were collecting and your mouth was going yes yes this tastes so good or maybe you live some place where there's oranges or grapefruits or fresh fruit on the trees of other kinds that i cannot imagine but go back in that time in your mind where you went out and you reached into the garden and you pulled out something delicious maybe it was a snap bean have you ever had a fresh snap bean didn't even need to be cooked you just snapped it and popped it in your mouth wow so much better than a canned bean so much better than those beans that we eat at holidays that are covered in all kinds of canned soup and nastiness these are fresh beautiful vibrant green beans right out of the garden so many green beans so easy to grow so delicious and so many other things fresh herbs basil oregano thyme lavender great scents too imagine yourself in that garden take a deep breath in and smell the wonderful fragrance the fragrance of all the aromas or maybe your eyes are spying spying an ear of corn and you reach up and you pick it and you pull away the husks and maybe it looks so delicious you bite right into it and realize some corn is so delicious and perfectly ripe that you can eat it even on the spot without cooking it 
That's not to say that it won't be very, very delicious when you cook it, but so delicious, so many great flavors, so many gifts from God and Spirit right there growing for us. The harvest, the bounty, the deliciousness. Oh, and let's not forget, let's not forget that you can take an ear of corn and steam it and all its beautiful deliciousness stays present. Or you can wrap it in foil and put it in the oven and bake it until it caramelizes and it's even sweeter still. An amazing, succulent, delicious flavor. And let's not forget in that garden and in the garden of your memories and the memories of childhood and adulthood all coming together deliciously. Let's think about that perfectly ripe peach or the perfectly ripe, my favorite of all, tomato. The wonderful ripe tomato. How delicious is that? So many ways to enjoy the perfectly ripe tomatoes and it all tastes delicious. So now your mind is remembering, remembering that we were born to eat plants and fruits and vegetables are truly delicious. Often the more natural, the better, the cleaner, the better. And these gardens are everywhere cropping up and you can grow your own garden. Even if you live in an apartment, you can grow herbs and small plants in your windowsill, but there's all kinds of places that you can go to buy healthy, delicious plants and let's again focus on those tastes in our mouths the strawberry yum the peach the delicious avocado i forgot to mention avocado so many great delicious things that we can make avocado and tomato and sprouts to make a beautiful guacamole Vegan gold is the avocado. So delicious. So creamy. So what else is delicious? Oh, one of my personal favorites is a perfectly ripened pear. It shoots this delicious juice right into your mouth. So, so yummy. So delicious. So now your mind is in touch with these things and your eyes are seeing the truth and perhaps for those of you who are visual when i said things like strawberry or apple orchard or peaches or blueberries or guacamole you saw them in your mind and your mind lit up with joy at their thought and your taste buds got excited when i spoke of them so excited so tasty and i want you to also be aware that for those of you who do not like to cook cooking becomes more fun and exciting as a vegan but i just mentioned all these delicious foods that require zero cooking so we can take our food with us we can find things in the produce section that require no cooking that we can take to other people's places so many delicious things to eat and if you want to cook in our future meetings, we will be sharing all kinds of great ways to make hot vegan food, delicious, hot plant-based meals, and you can go on YouTube too. So now you're in touch, in touch with your mind, connecting to the beautiful plants, the tasty fruits and vegetables, the truth that these things are healing, revitalizing, spiritually congruent, gifts from spirit, gifts from God, the bounty that was given to us, our birthright to enjoy plants and to love them. Even the apple that's on the tree is a gift from God. Continuing to breathe and to relax as you feel your mouth happy at the thought of eating those delicious, yummy fruits and vegetables and your ears hearing you saying, no thank you. Two things that fail to serve you to, to foods that suck the energy right out of your body. Let's consider the other side of this for a moment as you go deeper and deeper, as you continue to focus on your breathing and go deeper. Let's consider how we feel 
after a big holiday traditional meal where we've eaten a lot of kind of animal products, which are really dead animals, let's face it. We've eaten those things, and maybe they've had all kinds of dairy on top and all kinds of cheese and oil and things that are nasty and taxing to our bodies. Maybe little crunchy things on top that came out of a can. Who knows? But they're not good for you. They're not delicious. And how do we feel after we eat a big meal like that? We're asleep, aren't we? We're asleep on the couch. But if you think about it, the days that you go to the orchard or into the garden or that you eat healthy food, you have energy to spare. Maybe you're out playing touch football with your family. Maybe you're going for a walk or a swim. That's right. Because the healthy food, the vitally alive food, makes you feel vitally alive. And so it does. And so it is. Continuing to breathe and relax, knowing it will now be easy for you to think clearly and act in line with your own highest good. It will be very easy to ask yourself before you eat and as you select your food, is this food going to help me or is it going to harm me? Is this food going to give me energy or is it going to rob energy from me? Is this food going to be good for me to serve to my family or is it going to rob them of their energy? Will this food create health and vitality inside my body or will it clog up my arteries? Will this food help me or hurt me? That's the bottom line. That's the decision. Will it help or will it do harm? And not just to you, ask yourself, will eating this way help to solve the problems in the world or will it create more problems? Because when it comes to things like poverty and climate change, you're either a part of the solution or a part of the problem. So see yourself now always a part of the solution, the solution in your own life, thinking clearly, living lovingly, being compassionate to all those around you, especially to yourself. And as you consider these things and as you drift and float and go down deeper and deeper into the love and the magic of your self-healing, connect with your heart for a moment and let your heart tell you that it wants you to love it back. Your heart is beating and it's saying, love you, love you, love you, love you, through its beating. But now it's also asking you to love it back through your healthy choices by drinking plenty of fresh, delicious, satisfying water, by keeping it healthy through exercise, and all kinds of positive, loving, compassionate ways. Continuing to breathe and to relax as you focus now on a time where you were really in control, where you were doing good things, where you felt spiritually congruent, where you were proud of yourself. Revisit that time. Revisit your own goodness. And know you will now develop the ability to have more compassion, to be in touch with compassion, compassion towards yourself and compassion to others, compassion to the world, including the rainforest, compassion to the animal kingdom, sending them love, seeing them free of abuse and harm, compassion, like you're lighting up inside, like the most beautiful fireworks on the 4th of July like a Christmas tree, like a menorah lighting up like the Aurora Borealis as you consider your own compassion and as you sense, feel, and see your own self-control and self-discipline and self-love all emerging like they're growing inside you, blossoming and blooming. And as these things occur with such magic, with such delight, you are again thinking about the times where you took charge, where you made a decision, where you stuck with it, where you succeeded, and you are remembering that your success was born partly out of self-love and partly out of self-control and self-discipline. 
and it will now be easy for you because you're remembering that healthy food tastes delicious that you can be your own person you do not have to follow the norm you can let your love and light and compassion show in every breath you inhale and exhale and in every action that you take and in every morsel of food that you eat that's right a living breathing glowing vessel of love light and compassion is you and as you consider this it will now be increasingly easy for you to walk away from unhealthy foods and all animal products in favor of healthy delicious vibrant plants vegetables fruits fresh water walking away also from beverages that fail to serve you in favor of fresh pure water the part of you that used to want to eat inappropriately if there ever was such a part is now getting smaller and weaker and smaller and weaker and smaller and weaker and the part of you that wants to be free of eating animals that wants to be free from consuming animal flesh and animal secretions that part of you the freedom part is now getting bigger and stronger and bigger and stronger as your love and joy and happiness light glows inside you it is so easy for your light to glow so bright so strong that it's easy for you to walk away from anything that is separate from love and light and joy and compassion i'm so proud of you for listening to this program and for considering this change at the count of 5 returning fully alert happy and clear one getting in touch with your body and breathing two beginning to move three feeling peaceful feeling that light and love inside you glowing and four and five knowing your success is assured five fully alert and clear fully alert and clear i'm julie g julie griffin from trance out live from the secret society of aging divas and of course from the world vegan assembly and we all all the julies that i am and all the characters that i play wish you well and i will remind you we are all vegans and it was easy and fun to get to this place this special place where compassion rules our days and love rules our nights and days May all beings in all places be happy. Peace out. Love you.